Hello everybody. I'm just super excited. I don't know why I'm happy, but I'm alive. That's why I'm happy. In this video, oh sorry, did I forget to introduce myself? Hi, my name is Gloria Chiwendu. Welcome to my space. This is my space. Yes. So in this video, I'm super excited. You know why I'm hyped up? I'm doing a video with one of my beautiful, amazing, fantastic, intelligent, amazing, amazing sister. Oh my God, this lady is a sister after my own heart. Yes, you touch her, you touch me. Let me hype her. She deserves hyping. Yes, I'm doing a collaboration video with her. Do you know who? Do you want to know who? Oh my God. Her name is called cherished olivia tv <laughs> i'm super super excited to be doing this video you can see from my i'm excited yes in this video we're going to be doing um suspicious belief like some of those things that our parents told us when we we're growing up and they turned out to be lies yes they turned out to be lies yes mommy mm -hmm. so in this video, we're going to be sharing our different um, opinion and what we heard. She grew up in the eastern part of Nigeria and I grew up in the northern part of Nigerians, Nigeria and we both live abroad. She lives in South Africa and I live in Switzerland. Yes. So she's going to be sharing her opinion of superstitious beliefs she had when she was growing up. And I'm going to be sharing mine. It might be the same, but because we're both Nigerians. So I don't know what she's saying and she doesn't know what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and dive into this video. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do me one thing and one thing only. Mm -hmm. one thing and one thing only just turn on the notification button so that you get notified whenever i post a video don't you like the hyping <laughs> i'm just feeling myself i'm super super excited i'm really really happy that she chose me to do this collaboration video with her i am so so mm. I'm so so pumped. Yeah, tell me that. Tell me that. Oh my god. So if you want to be seeing this face and more videos for me, please just do me the favor of subscribing to my channel. Please. Oh, please. Yes. Yeah, so let's go ahead and dive into this video. Sorry, I have a piece of paper here where I wrote down all the lies my parents told me. Mm -hmm. But now I'm passing it from one generation to the other. I'm passing it to my kids. Yes, I tell them. When they grow up, they pass it to their kids from one generation, <laughs> from one generation to the other. So one of the points I have written down here is hmm, when you're licking orange and you mistakenly swallow the seed, my mom will say, hmm, you're in trouble. That orange is going to grow in your tummy and people will come and be plucking orange from the orange tree. So your tummy is going to be an orange tree. People will be plucking the orange to be licking. You see all the... We're trying to puke just to throw out the orange. It was all lies. Mommy, Macagin is a cake and I say, Lassie. So that's one of the points. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The other day I did it to my daughter. She was licking orange and she swallowed the seed. I said, <laughs> We don't have to buy orange in this house again. You're going to be producing the orange. You're going to be licking. Yes. The other point I have is hmm, if you want to have a male child, they'll tell you to Jella, Chodala, go and lick Udara. Like, What's the relationship between licking Udara and having a male child? <laughs> so if you know you want to have a male child, <laughs> because me, I'm done. Mom of four, I am a mom of four beautiful kids. I'm done and dusted. Like, eh, 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 eh. keep that male child, more male child to yourself. I thank God for what I have so far. So if you want to have more male ch ch um, children, you have to lick a lot of Udara. Mm hmm so the other one I have is when you're going somewhere and you mistakenly bump your left leg on a stone, they'll tell you, hmm, bad luck. That place you're going, just chiazo, just turn around because bad luck is going to encounter you there. I don't know how it works. But when you hit your right leg, they'll say it's good luck. So is that not crazy? Irony of life. The both legs belongs to you, left or right. So, and the other one I have is, hmm, you know, it never happens to me anymore. Oh, I haven't seen it with my kids when they hurt themselves. When we're growing up back home in Nigeria, when you hurt your leg or you have an injury in your leg, your thighs start hurting. We'll take the uh, the bum, the butters of a broom, you know, like the broom we used to speak, uh, sweep in Nigeria. You're hitting it on your thigh. You see, lawa, 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 lawa. You're <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know how it works. Like now, it's never happened to me. I hurt my foot recently and nothing happened to me. My kids have never come to say to me, mommy, my thighs is hurting me from hitting, bumping or something or hitting my leg. Or like, I don't understand. Tell me something. Yes. Yeah, so the other one is hmm, when you go to somebody's house. And you're standing, the person will say, Please take a seat before you bring more visitors. We don't have enough food for visitors. So they'll offer you a seat to sit down so that when people see you standing, they don't start coming thinking there is food in the house to come and eat. Or you go to somebody's house and the person is eating, the person will tell you, Hmm, you're going to be an amazing farmer. So they'll give you their work to do. Yes, superstition. Yes, does it still work? Yes, does do people still believe in it? Yes. How does it work? I don't know. Yes. So one of the other thing is, hmm, like, I think it happens to babies between zero to six months or one year. When they're having hiccup, like, you know, like ba little babies, they have hiccups a lot. You take a strand of thread from your wrapper or something and put on the baby's head. Apparently, it's supposed to stop the baby's hiccup. hiccup. Before I bite my tongue, hiccup. hiccup. I remember when I had my second daughter, when she's having hick, hick, my the big sister would go and get uh, the and uh, the rope or the pieces of cloth my mom kept under the pillow, and she's like, Grandma, Grandma, Erica, he keep. Erica, he keep, and my mom would take it and put it on her head. She too, she believed it. She still believes it till today that it stops hiccup. So I don't know how that works. Hmm. Nigeria, African parents, hmm. you guys are like. Kudos for all of you. <laughs> the other one is when you have an unexpected vis visitor. Somebody comes to visit you without invitation. They'll say, hmm, August visitor has landed. Why not January visitor? The person comes in December, it's August visitor. The person comes, and it's mostly maybe somebody that you don't see very often, and the person comes to visit. They just name the person an August visitor. I don't know why. Suspicion, uh, superstition? Yes. So the other one is, hmm, when more than two people are making your head, they'll give you a knock, bing, reason, so you don't get boil on your head. One person makes your hair, you have boil. I made my younger, my daughter's hair, and there were little bumps on her head. So why are they giving you a knock when three or four people are, are making your hair? I don't know. Ask me again, I don't know. So when you come to someone's house and you're standing, the person will say, Biko nanji chukwa yogi we lo chename wero jinge nye o yobia. Da alla inka shiko gidana kido kujira ki zona. So with the ba ni the abanchitizam ba when the yeshiko. Do you understand that? Oh, for my house of people, you understand that. So I don't understand how that works. Like you standing is gonna bring visitors to them. If you don't have food, you don't have food. So just tell the person you don't have food. You don't start giving explanation or anything. So this is the end of my video. These are the points I have. I'm not able to remember a lot. And I don't want this video to be too long. I wasn't really planning to make this video. Because I lost a very, very beautiful, amazing... Oh, God. It really breaks my heart. I don't want to talk about it. <sighs> my sister-in-law died. And I never got the opportunity to meet her. That was that is what really breaks my heart. And she left behind two beautiful kids. And she was so so young. I spoke to her. Why it really hurt me the most was I spoke to her in the morning. And by it, night time, she was gone. So after the death of my sister, it made me realize that life is worthless. Life is too short. In life, only we mourn. Don't use this life to boast because it doesn't belong to you. It all belongs to God. When God chooses to end it all, you have no say. Everything, it's, everything stands still. So, like, it really touched. I've, I've been in a, in a state of reflection, reflecting about why all this planning and hustle and bustle and all these things. And at the end of the day, when the person is gone, everything is gone. Please. Remember to put yourself first. Remember to just take slow. Just slow down in life. I think one thing this pandemic period taught me as a person is we need to take a break. Sometimes it's good to just take a breather and just slow down. Please. 
I'm just praying that the soul of my beautiful sister-in-law and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Rest in peace, Choma. I love you, love you so much. And you know how much I love and treasure you. Please subscribe to my channel. If it's your first time of seeing my face, please do me one thing. One thing and one thing only. Just turn on the notification button. Subscribe. Uh, don't you like to see my face? I really, really enjoy making these videos. Like, from the bottom of my heart, I really, really enjoy making them. Please subscribe to my channel and you will see more and more funny funny videos coming up on this channel share turn on the notification button so that you get notified whenever i post a video thank you so much and have an amazing amazing day bye